Welcome back, family and friends. And it's that time of the month, the Cryptocurrency and Partial Terror. And we're going to continue our journey into the realms of hell. I believe it's called the Season of Hell theme. It's a theme that Jason McKittrick and all his fellow artists over there, Cryptocurrency partners, came up with the theme for the duration of this year. And it's pretty interesting, I got to say. Here's the first piece up here. You got your fairy man who ferries your soul over to the afterlife and beyond the realms of hell or worse. We'll find out. And there we go. And there's my little soul sitting in there. The old geeky neighbor soul right there. He's screaming, hollering, and he doesn't want to go to hell, but he's got a journey ahead of him. So we'll find out what lies in store for old little geeky neighbor soul right here. Put him back in the boat for now. Let's get this open. I forgot a knife, so here we go. I uh, always look forward to the Crypt Cure and Partial Terror. Love it showing up. I love art. Art's always been a love of mine and got some red tissue paper there see if I can get it open and find the flyer without peeking all right we got the flyer yep it's like a piece of parchment there I like the little sigil on the bottom there a little symbol whatever that is but our journey through the infernal regions continues all right Let's see what we got here. King Mythos, the infernal judge, sits on his throne in limbo in the limbo region just outside Hell's Posper. Every soul that crosses the river Styx must go before King Min Minos? Yeah, Minos to be judged and sentenced. King Minos wraps his serpent tail around the soul and instantly feels and sees all their transgressions of life. Based on what he sees, the soul is sent to the appropriate region of hell for internal punishment. Oh, wow. Although King... What is that? Mentos? I don't know. I cannot read. Sorry. <laughs> Some, it's, yeah, King Mentos serves an important function in hell. He is also being eternally punished for his soul as well. In life, Minos was a cruel tyrant who was responsible for many barbaric executions as well as keeping his hideous minotaur in a maze that he ordered constructed as a form of punishment for prospective suitors of his daughters. Wow. Okay. Upon his arrival in hell, following his death, Lucifer struck Minos blind and damned him to the experience of the pain of every soul he's judged. King Mythos is depicted sitting on a throne bearing his sigil with a pain scream expression of the damned upon his blind face. The cursed soul figure from this month's box can be placed. Oh, okay. The cursed soul. Kind of did this a different format than I normally do, but I was reading along. We'll pull the items out as we go, I guess. But you take your cursed soul here, figure from last month's box, and you place it around his tail for judgment. There are three variant colorways of this piece. So King Mythos must be a first piece. Let's see if we can find it. Wow, that's a big piece. Look at that. Wow. I was wondering why the box was so heavy. King Mythos. Minos sounds better. Minos, I like that. King Minos. And that sounds familiar from some kind of mythology I may have read. Ooh, look at this guy. It's good size, good weight to it. It's nice purple. Yeah, purple, black. Look at the expression on his face. My lights are not going to do it justice at all. Give me a second to see if we can get some light here. Hold it sideways there so you can see it. But I'll see if I can remember to put some pictures at the end of the video. Woo, that's a lot better, isn't it? Let's take that guy and put him up here. Well, that's too much light now, isn't it? What was I thinking? But anyway, there we go. Let's just get it in close so we can see his screaming face. Those creepy hands. 
here's his tail twisting around. We'll add the cursed soul in just a minute. See what it looks like here at the end of the box. I'm not going to do it right now. We're going to do it at the end after I look through everything else. So stay tuned. All right. The Lilith print. Oh, okay, here we go. Here. Ooh, look at this. This is definitely Brandon Zimmerman's art. And it's got a little, a little risque thing going on. But for art's sake, it's the human form. And if it offends you, sorry. Turn away. There you go. It's Lilith, which I believe is the daughter. No way. Lilith, I believe, is the first daughter of Satan. Or, no, Satan's sister, possibly. I can't quite remember. I know a little bit about it from watching Supernatural on TV. I'm sure they twisted that lore all around crazy. But look at that. The Lilith print, Brandon Zimmerman, brings us this disturbing interpretation of Lilith. Lilith is driven by insatiable feelings of hatred towards the children of Adam. She stalks the earth at night, reaping men in their sleep and devouring newborn children in their cribs. She is known by many, the queen of hell, the daughter of the night, the devil's coarse consort. She exists in hell as a paradox, at neither nor angel nor demon, but as a being created directly by God. Yeah, so there we go. That is definitely a creepy piece of art there. Get it in there real close. It's going to be a little washed out because of my lights, but y'all get the idea. Pull it back right there. You get good, good colors in it right there. I'll take a picture of that later. So what we got next here? I believe that's it. But that's fine, because that figure of King Minos is huge. Cryptocaram.com, link in the description below. Go check it out. Get your partial of terror every month. And, whoop, you, you, okay, here we go. Go back to Lilith real quick. According to ancient beliefs, God created Lilith to be Adam's first wife. Okay, I got a little confused, but it's Adam's first wife. But when she refused to be subservient to him, God expelled her from the paradise. Enraging by God's betrayal, Lilith vi violated the century of Eden and stole seeds from the tree of creation, she, which she then swallowed. Her theft, the ultimate sin, now hidden from the sight of God, yet once exiled from paradise of God's light, the seed could not grow properly. Nurtured instead by her hatred and anger, it mutated Lilith's body, polluting yet enhancing her intended powers of re reproductive creation. Wow. I know a little bit about all that because I'm a Christian believer. And Adam and Eve, wow, that's crazy. Once confined to earth, Lilith began using her powers to exalt revenge against God, using his own body as a weapon, her own body as a weapon. From centuries, she traveled the globe. From her, these encounters, Lilith spawned hordes of evil and unnatural offspring. She, she commanded the systematically slaughter of children of Adam and his wife Eve to prevent her from overtaking the world. God sent three angels, I'm not reading their names to stop Lilith, but the trio failed and left her no choice. God smelt all Lilith's monstrous progeny and banished his firstborn daughter to the depths of hell, believing her, the fallen succubus would perish in the flames. Unbeknownst to God, however, the corrupted seed of creation that grew inside Lilith had made her immortal and immune to the perils of the inferno. Wow. And it keeps going on about Lilith, and I'm out of breath. A lot of lore here, and it's the season of hell. All right, so we got the print, which y'all seen plenty of that. If you haven't, kids, turn away, you saw enough. Go back to King Mythos, because we got a little piece of resistance to add to this. Where's the old soul at? Here he is, the cursed soul. Sits right down in there. Boom, there he is. 
getting its coil wrapped, tentacle wrapped around and wondering what realm of hell to send my poor Yugiki cursed soul to. So there you go. I like the sigil or like the design on the back. I guess that's like a, a play on the maze, in you know, a Minotaur maze right there. Lots of good detail. It kind of looks blue on camera, but it's nice uh, purple. And I like it. I like it. It'd be a great piece up here on the shelf by the ferry boat. There we go. And that is it, everybody. So next month, the season of hell continues on our journey to hell, through hell, and we'll see how that goes. Join us next month as we ascend deeper into the inferno. <laughs> exactly what I was just saying. So, all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to the channel. I got a few things in the works. And come back and visit your geeky neighbor sometime. Because I'm finally getting around to doing some more stuff besides just opening the partial terror every month. But I always look forward to it. If you want one yourself, link in the description below. Everything's handmade. And they're one-off pieces that hardly ever reproduced. And thank you for watching. Bye.